hi guys welcome back to yet another video and i am so excited about this one guys because i really waited to show you guys my um the house that we chose get in immediately at the main door you meet the chair the couch over here and uh, this is what we have and guys the lighting is a bit poor because of um i don't know anyway so when you come in this is what you meet and this is the house that we went for let me just show you about uh, the window area guys my curtain situation is not giving okay my curtain situation is not giving uh, dispenser is over there just at the corner and then the windows guys i really really love the windows just look at how wide the windows are and guys like i've said my curtain situation is now giving so i'll look into that also and i'm yet to wash that window so it's still very dirty <laughs> yeah this is actually day is it day four of us being in this house if not four or five we moved in here last uh, tuesday very late at night so we said like the past two days without organizing anything yeah so i'm here to wash the windows actually but i just love how wide the windows are just look at that it's huge it's huge the window is huge and then there's a, a watch over there that i put it has run out of battery i'll be refilling it uh, soon and then my dispenser that is where i have placed it and of course my ring light and the tv guys and there's a, a bit of a, too much of a wire situation that is going on around there I will also get something to put them all together so that they look neat. Uh, we decided to go for, uh, since we are moving into this uh, new building that we are not used to, uh, the internet that we were using before was uh, the Safaricom fiber. So we decided to try the one that was in the building, which was Zuku. Yeah, and so far so good. This is uh, the third day. Is it the third or the fourth? Third day of us using it. And it's been perfect. So this is the box for the internet. And of course that is the router and our uh, extension that is a volt guard and uh, PlayStation my happy's PlayStation is over there and uh, then of course our usual TV TV stand our normal TV stand so we had to carry this company and put it on the wall guys it's clashing with the other paints like this one and I also have another one which is blue which I'm really wanting to paint gray white so something that I really hate about this house is this thing guys and I really want to just pluck it and take it out at uh, this over I don't know how it looks just comment down below just tell me how this looks I love this house because of the size I'll show you guys in general uh, what I mean once I'm done I'll just give, give you a brief uh, look of that I really didn't like this part <laughs> uh, the kabati looks really weird I told it's supposed to be supporting the sink and I don't know why someone would want a cupboard here. Yes. Give mama. I'll give mama to show you. Mipe. Comment down below and tell me. But then the sink is used for washing hands. Which I think is really good. But then I'll have to like pluck it out. I'm not sure uh, how it looks. I don't like it. Especially the sharp corners. It looks very, 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 very... Uh, it's giving the house old school vibe. Ila kabisa. And then the brown wood is just a no for me. I don't like it at all. I don't like the brown wood. Yeah, but this, there's a window here that is connecting to the kitchen. I'll take you guys to the kitchen in a bit. So this is not bad actually. Yeah, so let me just show you the sitting room. Or the living area, living room. This is how it looks. And guys, I'm really struggling with the lighting. And it's really hot, guys. That is why my baby is... Uh, shirtless just look at that living room it's way way bigger than the one we had the other side and i'm just going to get all of this off the wall guys give me a minute so guys i just removed all the paints from the wall except that one my husband really guards it with the with the protection and security so i just put all the paints down there i want to paint them i'm either buying a spray paint or i'll use a, a real paint on top of it I'm, i don't know if that can work but i don't like the colors it's a lot given that my seat is already a lot just look at the colors over there it's colorful enough so i don't need to add more yeah but this is how my living room looks in general just look at that and i really love the size yep that is how it looks and i have my bulb on because the lighting is very poor 
yeah it's uh, outside it's coming in but not that much and that is where our tv on is on and baby is watching over there so guys that is it and there's a door that is connecting the other room with the living room and of course that is the main door that is the window the dispenser and of course these are the tiles this is the floor yep uh, which I don't know how to get the stains off of completely because I don't know why it's not coming out. And then guys when you come out at the door that is connecting the living room and uh, so at the corridor there's a, a door that is going to the kitchen and that is it uh, there's this one over here that is uh, this is the bathroom and then this is the toilet and I have like, a small rack over here that I'm using for uh, putting the stuff I'm using for toiletries uh, tissues uh, vim and I don't know why that vim is open I like it closed and I really love this thing, it's really supporting me because I used to never have it in the other house. And that is me guys. That is me giving you guys a house tour. A house tour. A house tour. <laughs> See the smile. I'm so happy. Get over here because I'll tell you guys why. So let me show you how the bathroom looks. Let me just put the lights on. Um, what? Let's start with the toilet and this is the door to the toilet That is how the toilet looks um, I don't have anything over there uh, Yet, but I'll be buying a lot of Iso Mahapik and stuff for cleaning uh, Even if I'm, I don't buy Apik, but just anything to clean the toilet mostly I just get Vim Or I'll get even S or something else Squeezy Apik is quite expensive. I'm not sure if I'll manage but I'll get something yeah and guys the floor on the the floor is looking like this uh, because it's a bit of a rough cast on this area yeah so that the place the toilet and also this part looks the same let me show you this is a bathroom that we went for and i'm here to give this bathroom a thorough scrub and i still have this thing over there for putting uh, those items I can even go in with a soap dish, shower gel, and such if I have them. That is, yeah, that is the window. Uh, we have here a basin of clothes, and I'll be getting that mat for uh, bathing uh, because now with this floor, I don't really like it, but I went for it because this house is really big. And then the offer was so attractive, guys. If you hear the amount you pay, you'll be paying per month, you'll regret. Uh, staying where you are because it's really affordable yep so that is why you went for it and i think it's affordable uh, compared to other prices because of this floor over here i heard that the owner had put this floor kitambo and then he decided to change to this other one so for the other rooms and also the sitting area that is the floor and for this part in the kitchen uh, the floor is still uh, the other one what do you call it the rough cast this one and guys there's this part zillas reparara like this part over here uh, my house manager is yet to uh, really know how to wash this floor so we'll be using a lot of brushing every day yeah and that is how the kitchen looks uh, that is how it looks and guys I have a bit of a situation going on over there that I won't show you I'm here to really arrange items in the cabisa. And guys, this house does not have curtains. Period. No curtains. I don't own curtains. And then I have these shelves over here that I'll be using for uh, uh, the utensils. And I don't know why my baby is making noise. I don't know why he's making noise. And I have this. Yes. Wah. Wah. 
He's calling me and telling me, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. So that is a shelf, guys, that I'll be using for the small shopping. Yes, that I use in the kitchen. And of course, that is the kitchen surface. Yes, yes, which is it's not too rough, but uh, that is how it looks. And then the sink area. Yes. Mm. And then we have a door over here. There's a back door. And the back door will lead you to the hanging area. And, uh, let me just. So this takes you to the hanging area. That is how it looks. Guys, we have like a small tap over here for washing. This one. It's a balcony. And I didn't show you these cupboards over here, which I'm really yet to put anything on. I need to put anything yet. And the drawers also, I'm yet to put too much. And I uh, put in a bit of sephoriahs down there. And uh, here, guys, I also went for the bulk purchase of rice. And I don't, don't know why my house manager put it over there. Someone put the rice under the sink and it can never be safe because you can never know whether the sink is leaking or not. So I'll just take it out and uh, dry one of the buckets and put it inside. And of course that is where our cooker sits. Uh, this is where I have uh, these that I'll be putting here. Uh, the potatoes, uh, the gas cooker, the gas tank. This one here is empty right now because you're not using it. And of course the tomatoes, yes. And the omenas. And guys, that is the line, place that I was telling you. And my baby is giving me the remote. What did you do, Baba? What did baby do? He even switches off the nini. The internet. So guys, let me lead you on to this other part and I have this bucket over here because it's uh, used for doing laundry it's for laundry yes and guys my most favorite part of the house the bedroom yay this is how the bedroom and guys, this is how the bedroom looks. When you come in, this is the door. It's just normal wood. It's not hardwood the way I would like. But I just realized that these houses that have the hardwood doors are very expensive. Yeah, so this is the bedroom when you come in. And I have that basket over there that I'm using for dirty clothes. I have this baby carrier that I bought that I never really used. So it goes, got really dusty when we were getting... Uh, transported here so I just put it there because it need to be washed and of course that is me shooting for you the video yeah so I have this that little mirror over there that I use when I'm dressing for uh, leaving the house and of course our usual bed it's here our usual bed is here and a bit of shoes there that I don't like putting under the bed I'll just transfer them to uh, the cabinets or the closet because we have a lot of space right now and guys i'm just so happy that finally i have to i don't have to put my bed uh, against the wall because i have ample space for everything that i need in my bedroom just look at that i'm able to leave that space over there and guys look at my window isn't that huge i'm obsessed with big windows i am obsessed with huge windows huh? just look at that isn't that that huge yes isn't it huge? Hey, eh? Love, love, love it. And I don't know how I'll wash this window. It's very dusty from outside. But I don't think there's a way I'll wash it. Because as you can see, there's a rooftop just below. Let's look at that. There's a rooftop below. And we're actually living next to the road, which I've never uh, done before. But we are adapting to the situation. And guys, from the window, that is our closet area. And just look at it. I really love the closet. 
Just look at the closet area. It looks amazing. Looks amazing. Yeah, we have ample space in the closet, and that is why I was saying that shoes like this one should not uh, stay under the bed. Yes. It is just awesome. Looks really good. And uh, I did a bit of uh, organization here and there. Uh, folding of the clothes, which I did on Friday. I slept very late, around 1 a.m. Because I was trying to uh, just organize. Guys, if there's anything I really hate, is having my things out of order. I just hate, hate that so much. And uh, most of the time when I tell my house manager to do it, she does it. But at some point, I always get... 100% fulfillment when I do it by myself. It's not like I don't appreciate what she does, but uh, I don't, I trust my hands more. Yep. And we just realized that we don't own much clothes. Just look at Abby's uh, t-shirts and that's it and the sweater tops and I keep the clothes inside out and that is why they look like that. And then we have this section over here that we'll be using for uh, uh, small things that we use for grooming like the earbuds and such and also our bo body oil. Guys, I don't use a lotion if you can see. All I use is this one. Uh, the Kentest uh, Coconut Oil. And my hubby also uses it. And this is lotion for baby, but I'm the one who uses it. Yes, bye. Okay, and this is a bill of mask. Okay, guys. So that is where you come from the door. And look at all that space. This house is massive, guys. This house is huge. And I love, love, love it. That is the bed, guys. Pray for us so that God gives us money. We just need to change so much in this house <laughs> that I've been talking about uh, for like ever. Uh, but finally, I'll be able to start doing it. I have just decided that I'll be allocating an amount of at least 5000 a month for doing small, small uh, changes around the house, like getting bedding. Uh, because the bedding I use are the ones from the second-hand clothes. They can never be... Uh, anything above like let's say 3,000 because I don't need to buy duvets or anything. I'll only be purchasing uh, bed sheets and also uh, the bed cover and uh, These pillows I just need new pillows new pillowcases and probably I'll also get paint to just go over the bed Or I'll just need to get another bed because Yeah, but the nini the bar was really strong. It's not been shaken ever so guys i was giving you a tour of this area so let me ju just show you how this looks so from the closet this is what you see over here yes so i did a ring for the closet and uh, i have my shoes down there i don't have much but those are the shoes that i'm wearing and we just decluttered so much guys that we won't be wearing so we have them in the, other, in the other room. This is actually a two-bedroom house. So we decluttered so much that we need to give away, probably to Mali Mali. I'm a, if I get someone who will be heading to a children's home, I'll give them out to them. So I've given out a lot of shoes that I never used to wear. Zilikuwa zinajaza tu wapa for nothing. Making me think that I had shoes. Kumbe, I don't have anything. Even Habi. Habi doesn't have much shoes. Let me show you. And also some of his shoes, I don't know if they are dirty. Yeah, this white ones, this is Ikoapa, but they are not really in good condition. Uh, my girl wiped them, but they are not so clean. I'll just need to jig them. I'll put them in bleach, soak them overnight, and probably wash them the day after. Yes, and I was saying that we don't have much. Just look at Hubby's clothes. This is all he has for now. Uh, we just decluttered a lot, a lot, a lot of clothes. And some of them are also outside on uh, the hanging lines. That is why we don't have much. So this side is just for hubby, his shoes down there, and uh, his clothes. And I was thinking probably that I'll get someone an ikongele kitu apa, or I'll get someone that is something that is really raised kidogo for the shoes. I just feel like this place is too blank for nothing. I'll just need to add taste to it a little bit because it looks kind of boring. Yeah, and then the top part, uh, we're just putting in bed sheets and also Habi is putting in uh, this. This is Vituzake as a PlayStation. And also the the pads for uh, the PlayStation. And also part of those, uh, we are putting in bed sheets and some of Habi's bags, which are not here, we'll also put them in there. And guys, my baby is here. And uh, I also have this 
thumb let me just close this part so we'll go on to this part which does not have much yet I only have books and then we have this room heater that you didn't have anywhere to put so I put it there books and also uh, there's a packet of tissues that we are yet to use that is there um, I'll go give baby and then this side guys my baby calls anything tamu anything food my bags are there still not to be <laughs> really arranged but I'll look into that guys my baby is hungry so I have to go ciao the other room it's a, I told you it's a two bedroom house and the offer that you're paying the money you're paying for this house below uh, every month is really good we really wanted to go for the cute house that was in the other video you people really loved it uh, the one that had the wooden doors with the huge windows and all that but we couldn't afford it because that was uh, just way too much for our budget it was 36,000 shillings uh, per month and that is just too much anything above 30 is too much for us still even above 20,000 is too much for us still so we went for this house which is below 20 and I'm telling you that I'm loving it we are not even going to pay for water monthly it's free we're only going to buy tokens and then we'll be paying 300 shillings for garbage collection and security is not paid for the owner of the building is catering for that and i just love love the services of the owner of this house may god bless him and uh guys i wanted to tell you that if there's anything you think is really difficult in your life just pray over it things will start changing and i want to tell you guys that 2023 was the hardest was the most most difficult year in my life ever since i got born like if you didn't know i'm over 30 years old so <sighs> 2023 was really tough i can't just believe that it's coming to an end and we have actually managed to get money for deposit and pay for the first month's rent there was a time that things were really thick uh, my husband got lost his job so i was doing all this by myself it got really hard i almost broke down at some point but i'm just happy that we have another chance to do this and guys just give me this chance to also develop this house with you guys and uh, we do all this together i love you guys so much and ciao bye don't give up in life okay